teach drawing one and two, intro to 2D and intro to 3D, and principles of digital design right now. Next year I plan to teach a jewelry course though. So more importantly, I really see a value in students learning to work through a process rather than being good at a process. So not everyone's going to be good at everything. Well, I've always really liked drawing and sketching when I was younger. It's just something I've stuck with my entire life. Not to mention my dad and my uncle also like drawing as well. They were really good at it, so they kind of helped me learn how to draw as well. Me, uh, some of my family are artists, but as a kid, I will always look at things and just draw it all the time. It's just built, you know, never really took it serious, but from time to time, I was still doing it. Getting better. It took me a lot. I never knew how to shake it up. And she's a wonderful teacher. She like shows you step through steps. Make sure you're doing it right. Kind of what you said, but like in more depth, because like. I have known how to shade, but like not as as in detail as she's like teaching us. So when I'm shading, like cross hatching or scribbling or just stippling, it's just fun and easy to do. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Um, Sundays are really great. Sundays are always a bit of a challenge. Every person is different, and how you approach each student is light years away from how you would have approached them the day before. So I just make sure that I pay attention to the way that my students are behaving in terms of um, their posture when they walk in, how they say hi to me after I say hi to them, um, if they feel comfortable in the environment, if they seem different than they did the day before, and then I just approach them in a way that's going to be best for them without trying to make them uncomfortable in the situation. My drawing students are currently working on a stylized portrait project. So each of them had to create um, an environment for a character. Some students created their own characters, some students are using um, animated characters that have already been designed by some other artists previously, but they had to create environments for them. They're going to be painting the backgrounds of those environments, and then they're also going to be using pen shading on top so that they learn a couple of different processes. Um, and so it's technically a mixed media project, but still encompassing in drawing.